What's up guys, Adrian Jr. with Sin City Outdoors. And in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of a catch and cook. I'm out here with the family, they're still over. My tata, Nana, my uncle Richie's. Where's he at? He's in the lake or something. But <laughs> it got hot, but we just finished up. So, see he's out there, but uh, we just finished up a great day of fishing. And I'm actually gonna show you guys the fishing part first and then we'll get into cooking. So, it should be great. We had an awesome day and what we were mainly using, let me see if I can grab it, are these things, just little swim baits. And if you guys got um, any questions or you want to know in more detail what we're using, I got links down to everything, uh, links in the description to everything I'm using. So we're going to get straight into it. And this was the killer bait today. So if you guys like these videos and you want to see more catch and cooks, I've been noticing you guys like them. So if you guys do, go ahead, comment down below. You want to see another one, maybe throw a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe because we got some more great content coming your way. My dad's mule deer tag actually opens. It's like a mule deer and elk combo. Opens really soon, so that should be some, there should be some awesome videos coming from that. But other than that, let's get into it. What the heck? Hey, what happened? He dropped the pole. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I thought they were after a fish. I'm like, you didn't try to catch him again. Wow. He hasn't fished in three months because of hunting season. I think he forgot how. Uh, <laughs> he thought he was shooting again. <laughs> he thought he was shooting again. <laughs> almost lost the pole. Wow, Richie. I know what he said. He almost went in for it. Have you seen that guy that jumps in for a flounder? Yeah. It's crazy. These fish are still boiling. What is it? September what? September 7th and they're still boiling like crazy out here. You hooked up? Five pounder? Oh yeah, it's a pretty good one. He's fighting. He's fighting it. Oh yeah, that's my five tackles. Five tackles. Perfect. You're looking like that all day long. Two pounders. One and a half. Two pounders. Nice, looking good. We just had a triple hookup. Right here. Adrian hooked up. Juju hooked up. Oh, quadruple. My dad just hooked up. Hey, Dad, does he need that? This is where it's at. Yeah. Hurry up, Minka. Hurry up, get some more. Those are $10 bills, $20 bills. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Who's got a net? Who's going to pull these? Hey, hey, throw them in there, Drew. Grab the net. Oh, I got a bike. Here. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. Right here. You gotta stand up. Get him. Even. Even. Nice one. Don't move too much. There's a bunch right there. Oh, they're all down there. They're all around. Feel it. Need a uh, net? He doesn't feel like too big. Need a net? Oh, yeah, oh, Three big. pounder? Oh, yeah, that's the biggest one of the day. I thought he was just kidding you, though. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a good one. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they just lift the mob. Utilize what we got. <laughs> We're gonna fry these guys up tonight. Dad, oh, it was like, it was like this guy. And it jumped out of the water. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. oh, this is a bigger one. Oh, this is a bigger one. one. Uh oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Mm. Faster on! Sweet. What? Are you 
Fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Where's the net? So hold, hold, hold the pressure on. They're all to the left and right. Oh, you gotta cast out to right. the left. I know. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Throw them in the light wood, you? I know. Oh, Richie. Nice. Oh, triple oh, hookup. Woo. Triple hookup. All right, so we're out here. How many, eight or ten? Yeah, we probably got about ten already. Like ten or fifteen already. We hit this spot and there was just boils everywhere. They're all around us. They're deep. We're sitting in 139 feet of water and there was shad coming to the surface these stripers rounding them up splashing everybody that has caught one everybody with a license has caught one <laughs> ma don't have a license she don't fish but she likes to eat them fry them up yep well, we're about ready to go home and do the cooking part. We caught a bunch today. Look, they're fat too. They were boiling up. And I'm like, this guy, for example, he's just stuffed full of shad. So that's just something pretty cool. But we were catching some nice ones today. Like this guy, that's pretty nice for me. I mean, you can't really ask for a much better night at Lake Mead, but We got a bunch of them, so we're gonna go ahead and take them home right now and cook them up. It's 9.30, we've been out here, uh, so what? Hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, something like that. And we just got lucky and hit a couple boils. And we got, what, 12? I don't know. I'm that's, counting. That's good How enough. How many is that? One, oil. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That guy's a monster right there. Eleven. So those of you guys that always Twelve. comment that these are tiny fish, there's no, there's no limit for fish under 20 inches mm -hmm. in this lake. Uh, they're overpopulated. There's something they said like 2.5 million stripers. Let's see, let's see, like a long one like this. How long is it? And because there's so many, they're, they're oh, limited on what they can eat. There's not that many shad. That's, Boil. That's probably right at 20 inches. Look huh? at that. Boil in front of us. 18, 19 inches. Yeah. Alright, guys, we, we're home now. We have all the fish laid out here. And we're about to flame up really quick. If you want to see a video on step by step how to clean them, Links right here, you guys can check it out. I was really young and uh, I was like a little kid, uh, really high pitched voice, but hey, it's got good information. I might update it. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see an updated version, but uh, that has really good information. So we're about to clean these guys up really quick. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen now. As you guys can see, we got the fish on our cutting board right here. I'm about to show you guys how we're gonna cook it up. We're gonna make tacos or something like that, fish tacos. So the only way, we and the way you can just dice it up really quick, if you got a fillet here, you can just cut. Now that we got all the uh, fish diced up, now we're going to get a little bag and we're going to put all the ingredients in it so we can mix it up. So seasonings we're going to be using today is just, I got this Cajun injector stuff. All we're going to do is we're going to put it in this bag. Go. Got all the powder put in the bag now, we just got to throw the fish in this, shake it up and we'll put in some hot oil. That's all it takes. Just close it now and mix it. Right, make sure it's on just about every piece. As you guys can see, it's already distributed evenly over all of them. So I'm just gonna mix it around for a tiny bit more and we're gonna throw it on some hot oil. So let's just go ahead and get the oil ready right now. All right, the oil's hot now. So next step is this. You don't have to do this, but, but uh, we're just gonna like filter it out or strain it out. The reason I started doing this is because there's just a whole lot of extra fried that stuff you put in and there's no fish in it. So it'll just get big clumps of seasoning sometimes if you don't. So while this oil's heating up, I just want to thank you guys a ton because we're actually approaching 100,000 subscribers, which is just something huge. It's something, you know, when you first start off, it's just like a dream and it's starting to come true. So we don't know when we're going to hit it. Maybe it'll be in a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. So when I hit 100,000, Subscribers, we're actually gonna do a big giveaway. Yeah, I'm planning on it being with like a bunch of good stuff. I'm gonna try to get um, some really cool stuff in the giveaway. But uh, there'll be more information I'm gonna post about it soon. 
and also on my Instagram, I'm going to be sharing information about this giveaway, but this oil is getting hot, so we should just about start cooking. Let's see. So this is just about as fresh as it gets. These fish literally were swimming in Lake Mead about an hour and a half to two hours ago. Now they're in our, our pan being fried. So if you look at the fish right now while it's frying, you can see a little bit that they, they don't look like they're extremely fried pieces. They look more like you just grab the fish. So if you guys wanted to take to that fry a little bit more, you can put like, you can get egg whites and whisk them up or mix them up really well and put the fish in the egg whites and in the seasonings and it kind of sticks a little bit more seasonings on them so it gives it more of a fluffy kind of a little texture or look. Right when it's cooling, you gotta just squeeze some lime or lemon on it. Our guests are here. They're here and we're getting ready to grub. Got the fish, got the, the tortillas that went straight into the hot oil. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, you're just gonna throw some fish in the top and on the tortilla. We got some pico that got out here from the other night when we were cooking. You can just grab some of this, throw it in there, and we don't have very much more about it. Cut up some cheese and you can throw that in there also. And you just throw it in there and it's done. You can, you can put whatever you want in there. Um, a lot of people like tartar sauce in them or whatever you want. You can even slap some hot sauce over that and it'll be good, but maybe a little bit more lime or lemon and ready to eat. And this is my Uncle Richie right here. He's gonna be the official taste test for this time. See what he thinks. Oh, perfect. Perfect? This fish is the best. You guys should go out here and check it out. $20 a pound, could check it out for yourself. <laughs> They're really expensive at the store. Now we walked down to a store the other day, it's like two little ones for 40 bucks, but they're real good fish. So. Yeah, check out those recipes, and we'll see you out there. <laughs> Dang, this one fell apart did, just now. Did he just say see you out there? <laughs> Doors! <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit like another voice in Canada. All right, Rich, we'll edit something in there to replace that. Do we hear something over here? The outdoors. Check out those recipes. And we'll see you outdoors. Watch this video to the end. I really appreciate it. I got some really loyal fans out there that watch every video to the end. And I recognize a lot of you guys' names in the comment section. So I really appreciate that. And like I said, 100,000 subscribers. Big giveaway coming at you guys. But other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you outdoors. See you outdoors. See you outdoors.